introducing online tables for real-time uh, serving. Yes, so, you know, uh, Spark is perfect when you process big data and you work with columnar format, so it's making uh, join really fast. But there is a situation when you want to get only one record from uh, like one terabyte, yes, uh, then you know it has to it has to load from uh, network storage uh, because it's in cloud from storage account call all parquet files related to that and process it so it wasn't uh, fast in that case but with online tables if you want to just hit one record so for example imagine that uh, again that you have a web app and someone go to product page and see just one product so you can just like in traditional like in traditional sql mysql postgres you can just get that one record and return it really fast uh, i was testing it and i was getting a response in around 100 milliseconds uh, it's, it's including uh, generation of python code and time function to monitor that so it was it was pretty fast but I think my favorite part is that when you when you deploy that you deploy function. So basically you can have function which you create like create function and that function is deployed serverless on serving endpoint. So it's like function apps but like in uh, like new new better way yes because Imagine you just make create function and what is in that function take user input and also table input and return something. So there is a quite cool example how to calculate distance because user send uh, his coordinates and place ID and then you get that, that place from online table and do calculation in function. But imagine if it will be combined with access to vector search and LLM. You can you can have like lim, uh, limitless uh, usage of that because like you make mic micro service architecture that you have function which do something for user. I don't know moderate post return is that product vegetarian etc etc. So it's like endless use cases and you just deploy function which is in Unity catalog as your end code like facing outside world. Yeah, and I think it, to be honest, I think it's just the beginning of all the use cases you can build on that. I mean, ML is a big thing and, and Airbridge is starting, like the current use case is real-time feature store, but I think it's easy to think about all the other use cases you could implement if you have the capabilities to have one Delta table which is backed by an online table providing like real-time answer based on, you know, some key that you can query in milliseconds. I could really start to have a lot of the use case where you have the, you know, Spark kind of version on the back end running the jobs. And then you even serve the front end application with, you know, key value response time in milliseconds. I think it's going to unlock a lot of use cases. So right now it's really focused on uh, all the feature store and all the ML use cases, but it's easy to see how we can, you know, tweak this kind of usage to start opening further use cases.